And we're back. Hopefully everybody was enjoying the uh, the nice smooth jazz going on here. Ah, I feel better. Quick bathroom break. Got some more booze. Everything's fine. And we're back to the game. Um, right. So we're going to leave that for now. Whoa. Hugh learned a new talent. Good job, Hugh. Almost sent me off to sleep with the music. <laughs> That's fair, man. It's good. It's good. It's nice, smooth. It's real basic jazz. I like it. More cider. Yeah, um, I picked up uh, another two towns. It's apparently their winter cider. It's a Cosmic Crisp Imperial. It's 8%. Best served at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, it's a little colder than that, but that's okay. Uh, let's get Hugh a new talent. Am I a jazz fan? It depends on the jazz. Old jazz, 1920s and 30s? Definitely. Newer stuff depends. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Do you think you can get that in Illinois? I was able to get it in York in the UK. So I'm pretty sure you can. It is a Portland uh, brewery. So probably, hopefully. Um, so I'm assuming that you can. If you just look for two towns, you should be able to get it. Am I familiar with Snarky Puppy? Uh, I am not. Uh, is that somebody I should paying, be paying attention to? Uh, okay, so... Shattered Impact. Your melee attacks now have a 100% chance to destroy a piece of armor. I don't like that because I want the armor. Slugger. Melee attacks now have a 60% chance to cause knockout. I mean, that's good too. Submachine gun training. Um, let's do the knockout. That sounds like a good plan. Thank you, Hugh. Uh, I think so. It's uh, not a jazz fan, but they're amazing. A song called We Like It Here is such a jam. Uh, if you can send it to me on the Discord, uh, if you have Discord, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. Uh, there's a link to mine down in the About section down below. Um, if you want to send me a message to that or post it into one of the various threads, that'd be fine. Uh, I'll take a look at it after the show. Okay, so we have Joseph Schmidt here, the guy that's running against the corrupt mayor. Got it. Huh? Hello, citizen. What can I do for you? You're the one running against Mayor Thompson, right? Why, of course. Thompson is a plague on this city. He's right, you know. His dirty money finds its way into the pockets of all manner of thieves. Just just saying. <laughs> uh, he's bleeding the city dry. Well, that's true. Uh, why do you hate him so much? How many gang-related deaths do we need? have we seen in this city since Thompson took office? Do you even know? I mean, at least 30 by me. Probably more. Um, how many dirty cops are on his payroll? Probably a lot. How many speakeasies, brothels, casinos, and other dens of sin have opened under his watch? Well, I own at least one of each. <laughs> uh, so, you're a dry. Uh, a dry is going to be people who are for prohibition. If you mean I'm for prohibition, then yes. Thank you, game. Uh, all of these... Cat houses, casinos, and what have you. Just putting deeper holes in the American people's pockets. And alcohol is the worst carpet of culprit of all. You lie, sir. As mayor, I will see to it that an illegal establishments are closed with prejudice. Uh, I see. In that case, I need you to drop out. What? And let Thompson get another term? That will never happen. Okay, so I can fight him, or I can just intimidate him. I'm going to try to intimidate him. If that doesn't work, we'll try to convince him other ways. Uh, I'll try to get it for next stream. I'm so bad at keeping up with all this stuff. Oh, no worries, man. Discord is um, just kind of a... It's kind of a forum version of a chat program. So if you're familiar with the old chat programs, you'll be right at home with that. It's just uh, everybody has their own channel that they can make if they want to. And uh, you can chat on different threads on their channel. So it's kind of like their own personalized forum. 
It's very, very nice uh, for getting everybody, you know, information like with the days that I wasn't able to stream. I was posting to Discord about why I wasn't able to stream ice storms and the like. So it, it's good ways to get, keep in touch and uh, keep up with everything going on. Uh, so let's try to intimidate him. I have to insist I don't want to start any trouble. And you would, what, kill me if I don't cooperate? I didn't say that. It's just not your year. I certainly value my life more than a political post, and you do strike me as a man of action. Fine, tell Thompson he's won that round. I will. Thank you, sir. Okay. So let's go back to the safe house, give Bill a call. Uh, the Los Hios are inviting me to war with the card sharks. No. You're dying shortly anyway. Um, and Hugh wants to talk to me as well, so we'll talk to him because he's going to be in the uh, safe house. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Wait a minute, pal. I love your hat. Who are you? I bet you thought you handled that well, didn't you? Nothing could have gone better, is that right? Uh, what are you talking about? You're sly, aren't you? Silver-tongued and all. You can talk your way out of anything. Well, I mean, yeah, probably. Also, into anything. It's a two-edged sword. So why are you wasting away with Thompson? It's a fair question. What do you want? What do I want? Why, nothing. I wanted to take in the air with a sophisticate such as yourself. Is that a crime? Yeah, you seem to know plenty about me, but I'm afraid I don't know a thing about you. And that suits me to the ground just now. Besides, I'm already on my way. We should do this again sometime. Okay, crazy lady. Alright, well, while we're here, yes. let's talk How's to you. Going? Sir, can I trouble you a moment? <laughs> He calls me sir because he's ex-military. Uh, I told you, Miller. Call me boss. Uh, sure thing, boss. Sorry. A friend from the army was in tongue-in-cheek recently. And he's... I love that name still. <laughs> and he saw an officer, Lieutenant Stanley Jackson, from when we were in France. A real son of a bitch. And he survived. He should be dead. I'd like to take care of that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you were in the army, Miller? I didn't realize. You only wear the uniform all the time. <laughs> uh, you know what? We'll be a smartass. I was a proud member of the 369th, the Harlem Hellfighters. Hell yeah. We spent 191 days at the front line, more than any American unit, suffered more losses than any of them, and our own soldiers fucking spat on us. The goddamn Germans showed us more respect than our own people, and he was the worst. Oh, we get to go kill a racist? Fuck yeah. <laughs> You're part of my crew now. Where the fuck is this guy? I don't know, but one of the workers at the Tongue and Cheek might if we go and talk to them. And once we find out where he is, we go there and we shoot him in the face. Boss, if anyone kill him, kills him, it's me. That's what's right. That's fair. Alright, soldier. Let's move out. Yeah, we're, we're doing that next. Okay. Got no qualms killing a racist bastard. And we got to call Bill. Yes. Bill, it's Daniel. Ah, my friend, how did the situation go? Took care of it. Splendid, splendid. We're well on our way, Daniel. Come and see me when you have the time. We should talk. Okay, that completes Kaiser and Country. Okay. Apparently. Talk to Candace. So, okay, we're gonna head there immediately. As you wish. Tongue in cheek isn't far from here anyway. Uh, matter of fact, I think it's next door. Yeah. All right. There we go. Hello, Candace. As you. 
Hey boss, I didn't do nothing wrong, did I? <laughs> Have you, Candace? That sounds like someone with a guilty conscience. I'm not gonna hassle the girls. Okay, you or the others work with any army guys recently. Why? Is he lonely? On the house, sugar. Uh, no, we're looking for a old friend of Hugh's. Brittany has a thing for guys who are over in France. She's doing her bit for her country, I guess. Go talk to her. Thanks, Candace. We'll talk again about what on the house means and anything else worth talking about. Oh, boss, one of the Johns left us this behind. Fell out of his wallet. Maybe you could get it to him. Yeah, I'll get it to who it belongs. Don't know what she gave me. And okay. Go talk to this nice lady. Hey, you here for business or business, Brittany? We're looking for someone Hugh knew in France, a guy named Stanley Jackson. Not a lot of guys use their real names in here, but he did. He was real gentle, real sweet, cried mostly. He was badly injured. Injured how? Scars, burns all over his bodies, turned my stomach to be honest, but he did his duty, I'll do mine. You know where he might be? You're not going to hurt him, are you? Stanley, he's a nice man. He's been through so much. Yeah, he's an old war buddy of Hughes. We just want to talk. If you think I believe that, you got another thing coming. I could pay her a hundred bucks, or I can tell her we're not going to hurt him. Well, I'll tell him or tell her we're not going to hurt him. Fine. He told me he likes to drink too much over at Kehoe's. He's probably there. All right. Bill is over at the warehouse, or at the... Bah. Bill is over at the safe house, that's what I wanted to say. Words. And Kehoe's is... No, not you. Right. Honestly, I'm not going out of my neighborhood for this mission. I like it. Got it. Do missions for humor I like it more often. All right. Wait, what What's just happened? Story? Are you drunk? No. Apparently you're fine. Are you still fine? Yeah, you're fine. Current talent is slugger. Okay. Guile. Okay. Uh, okay. right. And just in case I managed to cock this up, let's put a save down. Good. Now I'll Hugh, right. you go talk to this nice fella. Right. Mm -hmm. Do I know you? Okay, so I'm playing as Hugh. Um, you don't look like I remember. You're, you were with the Hellfighters. Uh, last I saw you, you were sitting on a horse, spitting on men better than you. I can't do that now. I can't ride. Can't even spit, really. Okay, do we feel bad for the racist bastard or not? I'm, I'm thinking no. Like, am I supposed to feel sorry for you? Or where did you get injured? Or I can just shoot him. Kind of don't want to just shoot him in my club. Um. Yeah, am I supposed to feel sorry for you? I'm sure you do anyway. Everyone does. Are you here to kill me? I was going to do it myself, but drinking slower gives me more chance to change my mind. Take him out back. <laughs> Alright, where did you get injured? After they sent the Hellfighters to the French, they sent us to Bella Wood uh, to stop the Germans. We lost a thousand men in one day. They sent us to the Argonne to capture the town of Shilat Shilout. Major Little said our casualties were hideous and continuous. That's poetic. Our gunny screamed, Come on, you sons of bitches, do you want to live forever? Are you... If you're not going to do anything, I'd like to get back to my drink. So I can forgive him, or I can kill him. Hi, Kronos. 
What do you think? Do we forgive him or do we kill him? You want to kill the racist bastard? Wouldn't like you. You're a black kitty. I think we kill him. Just for funsies. No forgiving the racist bastards. Well, of course. Understood. Ooh, he punched Hugh. Copy that. And Hugh punched him right back. Fuck yeah, Hugh. Uh, now, Daniel, you can shoot him once. Gotcha. Oh, I've got my bodyguards in here, too. Oh, shit. Uh, you can shoot him. And what do you have? You have a double-barreled shotgun. That would kill him, and I don't want that. Shotgun blast would also kill him. Just punch him. Okay, Hugh. Now you, you get the kill shot. Beautiful. Victory! And that gets us 300 bucks. And I've got to talk to you. Got it. How's it going? Didn't feel as good as you'd hoped. He had a Croy de Glare on his body. I have one as well, for acts of heroism in combat. So you don't need a second one then? We could find a good buyer for it. <laughs> Wow, I'm cold as hell. <laughs> Boss, that's priceless. Nothing's priceless if you know the right people. Thanks for the help, boss. Um, Yeah, I, I owe you, Hugh. I'm glad to have someone as brave as you on my crew. Okay, that increases our notoriety, so we get a bunch of spill in skill increases, which is nice. What do you need? Hugh... What did you get? Uh oh, he's sullen now. Well, that's that's less good. Hugh, tell me about yourself. Negative five marksmanship. I don't like that, and it it goes for ninety nine rounds. Like, that's, that's a hell of a penalty. I think what we do is we load up and see what forgiving him does. I think that's the right one. Hopefully it's the right one. <laughs> oh, he's running away. What do you need? Let's get rolling, baby. Right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's just get through the conversation. All right, so if we forgive him, what happens? I got this over there. You, the Hellfighters, fought like demons. I want you to have it. So he gives us his medal. Okay. How can I help? And what does that do for you? Hey there. That went different than how you expected? He gave me his Croix de Guerre. I got one too for acts of heroism. Uh, I know what he went through for that. So you don't need a second one then. Boss, it's priceless. Yes. Thanks for your help. I owe you one. Excellent. We still get the persuasion and all the bonuses. And he gets calm instead. Now. Yeah. 
What does Calm get? A permanent increase, 25% chance to bleed out in instead of dying. Honestly, as much as I wanted to kill the racist guy, I kind of want to keep this instead because A, it's permanent, and B, it's a bonus. <laughs> like, killing the racist guy is fun and all, but this is a good upgrade. Uh, also, what is your role? Okay, so this is based on persuasion. Your persuasion is 36, yours is 33. So what if I make you an underboss? What's that do? Um, I need more notoriety, but okay. I could make him a mole. I might have to do that with somebody later. All right, you're gonna be my advisor. There we go. He is now my advisor. And that gives me a new mission, gets me 500 bucks, 10 notoriety, excellent. Okay. Bunch of businesses in town are getting destroyed because everybody else is at war. I'm not, which is kind of nice. Um, we've got plenty of rack. We've got plenty of swill. Uh, we've got a decent amount of cash. Where is I'm having to peek around my microphone here? Um, so preferred currently is rack. Nobody really owns the neighborhood. Oh, and there's 61 available people. Okay. Sent the link in Discord, I think. I will take a look as soon as we're done streaming. How's my safe house doing? If we increase the quality, that would probably be a good thing. Take 25 days, that'll be nice. So after this, we'll be able to produce rack in the, uh, the safe house, which is nice. And then we can start producing top shelf and stuff for other places as well. And actually boost the production of a place that we're never going to actually lose because you can't have a safe house raided. Um, we've got three and a half grand. Let's take over a medium building somewhere. Like you. And Cyril has his new talent. So now... Yeah, attacking people who are flanked gets a 20% crit chance, which is amazing. Run and gun is... Let's see, you can perform a max action, max move action, and still perform another action afterwards. Ooh. That's very nice. Uh, or gut shot, move your target and fire a shot into their gut. Deal damage, weapon damage, and applies bleed and slow effects to the target. I mean, guaranteed status effects are nice, but I think killing them is better. Let's just do run and gun. That's cracking. Excellent. Um, and yeah, we'll just attack this place when we get there. Don't get run over by the streetcar. Okay, we're good. Now, because everybody else is at war... Um, every, all of their customers are going to be heading to me because most of their businesses are shut down. Which is very, very nice. It's probably why I'm making so much cash. And I am not interested in sitting down with Reagan. Spiffing tally-ho and all that. <laughs> what was, governor? <laughs> I'm going to click on that guy more often Tally just to annoy you. <laughs> because I am that asshole. Um, wow. There is... There is nobody nearby. I can... Honestly, I can still hit you and that surprises me. 
didn't get the crit, so he survived. That's a shame. Uh, Miller. If I put you right, right. here. I wish people still spoke like that. <laughs> there we go. Heal Overwatch their backs. Because this guy will probably be running through there at some point. You. What does he have? He's got a hammer. So I'm less concerned about him. If I move you elsewhere. Eh. It's too open. Unfortunately, that's the only shot you're going to get. Overwatch into there. There we go. Moving in. Huh. Moving. Opening a can. This might be a little loud. Sorry if that was. Well, that Overwatch worked. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. What's the can of? Uh, that was the uh, Cosmic Crisp by Two Towns that I was telling you about. Let's go ahead and kill you. And you... You have an excellent shot at hitting this guy. Now, if you do a shotgun blast, they're not quite in range. If I moved you here, would they be in better range? See, what's the range of that? Five or so? I don't think more than one of them would be in range anyway, so we'll just shoot him. I missed, damn. Well, that was rude. Okay, where can we move you to get you a shot on somebody? Right here, That's turns understood. out. Rifles are excellent for cr shooting across the entire room. It's a beautiful thing. I know. Oh, good, he missed. Okay. Last rights would only hit one person, which is not worth it. Uh, sixty-four on you. I'll take that. Beautiful. Moving in. Fifty-six on you isn't great. Um, I can get a sixty-one if I take a step sideways. I can get an eighty-five on him. I'll do that. There we go. Eighty-five percent chance on you. Beautiful. And he's bleeding. Oh god. And he died. <laughs> Even better. Um. 84% if I just run up, but I'll be out of cover. I'll just take the 80. Come on. There we go. Well, hit him anyway. Um. You don't have a shot on that guy at all. Um. Let's move you right here. Yeah, I say that should give you a shot. Why don't you just overwatch? And I missed. That was a wide open shot. Good God. Do I like 70s rock bands? I do. Uh, we have a 50-50 shot just poking our head over here. 
What's going on with you? Barroom Brawler. And Guile. Okay. Uh, I'll take the 50-50. And miss. Like sticks. I like some of their stuff, yes. I can't say I've listened to a ton of it, but what I've heard I've enjoyed. Victory. There we go. That gets us a grand and a new rifle. Not a very good rifle, but a new rifle. Let's take over the joint. And... We can't afford a brewery. But we could make another speakeasy. Because the one we have is probably going to be shut down soon. Uh Oh, like every week Wednesday? Um, it could be. Because I'm really enjoying this. So I might just make this a regular Wednesday thing. Um... Because, honestly, I, I do like streaming Wednesdays. I don't know if I have the amount of uh, required internet time or packages or <laughs> download or upload time uh, required to do every single Wednesday. But if nothing else, I would like to pick this up again. Uh, because this is a lot of fun. This would cost me about four grand. So would the brothel. Brothel doesn't make as much money. Hmm. <laughs> if gangsters are left inside brothels too long, they contract STDs. <laughs> awesome. Uh, gangsters may become alcoholics as alone too long in speakeasies. Speakeasies require alcohol in order to function. We've got an abundance of alcohol. We'll do a speakeasy. Call it the Whisper Inn. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that a lot. The 226? No, no, no. The Whisper Inn. I like that. Chris, well done. <laughs> you should just chill in and watching this. Honestly, Wednesday's fun. I like Wednesdays. They can do better. Okay, so the Alley Cats are mad because I took over this. Los Luceros wants me to attack Reagan. And honestly, Reagan is kind of crap. So, do I want to kill Reagan right now? I mean, it would mean joining the Los Luceros, but I mean, I don't have anything against them necessarily. We're, we're kind of reverse personalities, but that's okay. I'm going to skip it for now, but we probably will be killing Reagan sooner or later. Um, Los Luceros decided to go to war anyway. Okay. Let's just talk to the bartender real quick. Understood. Hey. What can I do for you? What's the scoop around town, Barkeep? Sorry, boss. Nothing going on right now. Fair enough. Uh, White City Circus offering a business arrangement. They will provide me with security costs down at brothels and speakeasy raid chance down. Yes, by all means, yes. The raid chance at speakeasies is insane. But, let's check this out real quick. My bad if random questions are disruptive. No, no, I love random questions. Uh, they're still setting up, and they've already got room for 87 customers. And they have 37. Uh, it is already making more than it spends. Uh, once we can, we'll give them an upgrade. Whoa, we found the White City Circus safe house. Hugh Miller is finding more of these than anybody. Show me. All right, where are you guys? You guys are in Little Italy. Right next door to the outfit, which is fascinating. Okay, good talk. Now, what we might do is expand to a uh, another small area shortly. All right. Just to get more business. Okay. Because we're making a decent amount of money here. But I think the more that we increase our, uh, our area, the less we're going to actually get profit from all of the places. Um, because there's only so many people in the territory that'll go to different bars. 
Bring the chat. Engagement is the best. Damn right. I love people that actually get involved. So, if we go to war with Reagan and just take over his casino, I'm kind of okay with that. Let's enter this place. Uh, I don't want to fight the Alley Cats. I'm busy. We're going to kill Reagan. The Hip Tong have gone to war with the Alley Cats. All right. Okay. Right, you're still a spy. All right. Speaking of, is that mission... Yeah, this is considered failed because uh, the stills no longer belong to the Los, Los Eels. Which is a shame. All right. So if I just walk into Reagan's place, I mean, you and Jen are going to get sick of me? Nah, dude. Not at all. As you wish. Jen has been a friend of mine for years. She's a great person. She does not get sick of anybody. Well, I mean, I, I say that. She gets sick of some people, but generally because they're annoying. Um, let me speak to Reagan. So, what do we currently have going on with you? Uh, I refuse to sit down, which is negative 100, apparently. Good God. Um... And he's dishonorable. I don't like that. We are in a business arrangement currently. Oh, you pissed yourself off. <laughs> That's all right, man. <laughs> uh, we are currently in a business arrangement. Um, I could trade with him, but I don't want to do that. If I just declared war, I mean, he's pretty weak. Like, he doesn't have much in the way of anything right now. And everybody else... I don't know. Only the Los Hios are currently fighting him. Interesting. Could we do a sit-down with you? No, he won't let me until that wears off. Don't want to ask him too much random shit. <laughs> Honestly, I like random questions. Um, so I don't mind at all. Okay, so he wants to fortify the south side. Which is a shame, because I want to fortify the south side. The south side is my stuff. Um, and as far as strength goes... I am in the 155,000 range. He is 131,000. Hmm. Everybody has more money than me. But not much. Apparently there's a faction that has 700 barrels of booze and the Los Hios have almost 700 barrels of booze. Good God. Where are they stashing it all? <laughs> Um, all right, well, we'll decline going to war with you for now. But you're on thin ice. Fuck you up soon. Um, what else can we do? We have the alley cats who are suddenly in town, which is a shame. We got the Los he Los Heels. Bunch of thugs in the alley. Um Just trying to determine who I want to fight. <laughs> Whole last conversation happening and I'll bring something totally off topic. Awesome. <laughs> 
Honestly, um, holding up a chat conversation on this platform is difficult anyway, because there's about a 30 second delay, give or take, between me and you. So when I'm asking questions, I always make sure it's enough time to wait for a reply. But because of the delay, which is honestly anywhere between 10 and 30 seconds, it's kind of hard to keep a conversation going. Okay, the north side mob isn't mad at me. Um, Reagan is... God, like, he doesn't care for me. But he also doesn't hate me. He's just a dishonorable bastard, that's all. We trade. Let's see... All you have is a shotgun. Well, I mean, that's hardly useful. Um, I've noticed that, don't know how these massive guys manage all this insane chat going on. A lot of them don't see a lot of it. Ooh, that's an actual equipable item. Plus five initiative, plus 20% max health, and plus 15 loyalty gain. Well, well, well. I didn't know that. We'll have to put that on him. There we go. Now you have a medal. Also, I need to be wearing a silk padded vest. There we go. How's everything else doing? Whoa, what's this? Oh, it's my maple syrup bottle. Right. <laughs> I should really finish that mission because she's right here and I can't do shit about it. As you command. So apparently we're going to narc on the Canadians. Going to make you play RDR2. Okay. Red Dead Redemption? I mean, honestly. <laughs> okay, I like this lady already. Three guys with, with guns walk up to her, and the first thing she says is, The fuck you want? <laughs> uh, what's with the attitude? I don't know you. I don't respect you. Now I'll ask you one more time, out of politeness, what the fuck do you want? Honestly, I like her. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's going to be one of the situations that as soon as I can afford to buy the game, I'll happily do the, do the point exchange. That's fine. Uh, that's why I like the smaller, more personal streams. It's a lot more enjoyable actually being able to engage. I mean, I agree. I don't like the big, massive streams. I like it. I don't mind if you have, you know, 700 people watching. It's when 700 people are talking that it's a real problem. Um, that being said, I have seen some streamers that are able to keep up on shit like that. I don't know how they do it, but I'm impressed. Yeah, someone's trying to take your faction out. I'll take a shot in the dark. It's the Canadian Maple Association, isn't it? Yeah, how'd you know? Because I'm a fucking mind reader. Jesus, they've been at us for months. They say we owe them a debt, which is bullshit. They're just trying to get rid of anyone that knows anything about them. But my boss, Salazar Renya, uh, don't seem to realize the CMA want us dead and buried. They said they wanted me to work with them, and they wanted to poison the stills with this. Yeah, what's the debt they're referring to? Someone that used to run with us ended up stealing a load of their booze. They got it back, minus a few barrels, but they never forgot the thing. Turns out the person that stole them from them also found out some shit that they would have preferred to keep under wraps. Such as? The kind of things I won't talk about in public. Well, that's fair. Uh, probably ADHD. <laughs> if you do play RDR2, grab it on the PS4. Um... I, I recently inherited Jen's PS4, in fact. Uh, she was very, very kind enough to give that to me. Um, but I don't have this card set up to stream on the PS4, so I can't do that directly, unfortunately. Um, so computer is kind of what I'm stuck to for now until I can afford a capture card. Which is a shame, because playing with people online would be fun. All right, well, they tried to get me to poison your stills with this mysterious maple bottle. Fuck, that could have ended badly. Look, I've got to thank you for bringing this to me instead of turning on us. I mean, to be fair, I didn't have a point or a choice. The game kind of made me. 
Let me give you this. Call me Nelly. Say, Jacques won't be too happy that you ran to me instead of doing his dirty work. The CMA might come at you, or more likely they'll send someone else to come after you, so just be careful. Okay, we're at war with Canada. Yeah, you seem to be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, if you're interested, I might have a way to get back at them. I'll be in touch. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I, yeah, I, I'm gonna. If if people return redeem points for it, I'm playing on stream. I just have to. It's it's the thing. Okay, so we passed that mission. We got a shotgun out of it. Twenty-five swill, which isn't great. It's not bad, and a thousand bucks. That's good. Curious about the shotgun. Uh, cell mode. There we go. Shotgun, 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 shotgun. Ooh. 45 to 52. Well, I've got an upgraded shotgun. Oh, yeah. Uh, where is it? Right there. Beautiful. And we can give this shotgun to this fine gentleman. Beautiful. Um, do I want to give you a big fancy Tom Thompson submachine gun? Hmm. I don't think I do. I like him with a rifle. But I think the next person I have will probably get a Thompson. Because Thompson's. Okay, so Jacques is going to be mad. Let's go talk with him. See how mad he is. Notoriety is skyrocketing, by the way. Oh. Well. Uh, things have changed, and I'm afraid we can't work together anymore. The Los Hills de Iona has broke their business arrangement. Okay. Okay. A message from one of your guards. Hey, boss, there's a strange-looking guy hanging out in a bar making some people an easy. I think you should come talk to him. Uh, Izzy's been busy is what we got there. Let's talk to Jacques here. Okay. You have a delivery to make. Right, right. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, where is Izzy's been busy? You. Down here. Okay. All the way down here. All the way down at the Whisper Inn. Okay. Well, honestly, this side of town, we currently control. Uh, nobody has anything past this street on our turf, which is nice. Um... We could probably push into this area here, but we do have to go to war with Reagan. Which we will probably end up doing shortly. Right. In the meantime... As you command. Okay, whoa! So the Los Hills want to do a non-aggression... I'm not planning on fighting you anytime soon, that's fine. You though. How can I help? Let's talk All to you. Right. Mm -hmm. Say, fella, why can a guy get a drink around here? Did you notice the bar behind you? Oh yeah, do you sell whiskey? I have a hankering for some golden nectar. Wow, this guy is a cop. <laughs> uh, no, we just have soda pop. Shucks. Guess I'll be moving on then. Thanks anyway. Okay. Well, that worked out. I think. Moving. All right. Whoa, a bunch of rackets just got hey. destroyed. Um, Hip Tong. Oh, the Whisper Rides draw has increased. Nice. 
A message from one of your guards. Boss, do you know who that was? That was Izzy Einstein. He's a famous prohibition agent. Good thing you scared him off. He's bad for business. Excellent. Now, did that actually increase things here? At the Whisper Inn. No, but the notoriety went up. So, I mean, whatever. Um, what we could do, since we're competing, is we can increase the draw by increasing the ambience. Income goes up, value goes up, upkeep goes up slightly. But for three grand, yeah, I'll increase the ambience. There we go. Do I have to change the setting in my Twitch to take off censorship? It really annoys me. Um, if you if you select the words that are blinked out, um, because it's not on my end, it is on yours. Um, you should be able to change settings directly from that. All right. um, it doesn't always work for every chat channel, but it should work for some. 